striker. Hopefully help you score more goals, get more involved in the play, and help your team win more games. So number one is get yourself in the box more often. And you may be saying, oh, well, obviously, but if you really analyze your game and you're saying, hey, I'm not scoring many goals, well, how many times were you actually in the box and how many times did you actually have touches in the box? Okay, a lot of strikers will get in the habit of, so let's say our team is getting up the field and our team is on the ball, they'll start making runs out here or they're not getting the ball in good areas, so they start dropping back into the midfield and they're getting on the ball, they might even be making nice plays and nice passes, but they're not doing their job and their job is to put the ball in the back of the net. So if you wanna score more goals, you have to really analyze how often am I getting in the box and how many touches, how many shots am I getting? I will send the better in one day soccer blueprint to anyone who comments hashtag soccer on this video. In the box, okay? A lot of people will criticize this. Some people say like, oh yeah, Ronaldo, he only scores penalty shots and tap-ins. He only, he scored like 30 tap-ins last year. Well, how many tap-ins did you score last year? Okay, so don't criticize, analyze. Why is he scoring all these goals? He's getting in the right spot at the right time. And the best strikers in the world, that's what they do. They find space and they get themselves in the box, okay? So analyze, are you making runs out here rather than in here, trying to receive the ball in these types of areas, okay? So get yourself in the box more often. Anytime there's a cross coming in the box or there's a shot on target, where are you? Are you right here or are you right here? Okay, if you get yourself in these areas more often, you're gonna score goals more often simply by being there. So really analyze your movement and the spots that you're putting yourself in during the game. The second tip I want you to think about is playing on the last defender. So you may have heard this term before, and basically what that means is I want to be I want to be starting my movement or starting my runs on the last defender. So if the last defender is this guy, it could be any any of these players in the back line, but instead of trying to receive the ball in here, I want to start my movement here. So when the pass is played, I already have a head start on the defender. So really analyze, okay, where am I starting my run? So maybe this player is on the ball. Okay, so instead of being here and making your run, because what happens, you receive it and these guys close you down and then you have to go backwards. Okay, you want to get yourself on more breakaways, more one-on-one -on -one chances with the goalkeeper. So you need to start playing on the last defender. So as I said, instead of starting your run here, you know that your teammate's on the ball where you want to get yourself into this position. Now at this point, you're probably not sprinting, you're just jogging, maybe you're making eye contact, but you see that he's on the ball now, here's an opportunity, okay, now I'm starting my run. Well, as is, obviously you don't want to go offside, so get in the habit of always looking across the line. If you're playing this way, you're gonna to have to shoulder check, or you're running this way, you're gonna to have to shoulder check. Look, am I onside? Okay, if you're offside, that's not, anyone else's fault but your own. Yes, maybe he should have played the pass earlier, but you have to be aware of where the, the line is and hold your line. So hold your line, hold your line, hold your line, and then making eye contact, encouraging him to play the pass, and you're getting that pass here, as opposed to starting your run back here, not on the last defender, and receiving it here, as I said, and now you're getting closed down, now you have to beat two guys, rather than your one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. If you want to improve faster and achieve more this season, use the soccer success planner it's 100 percent free players all around the world have already used it to improve you can download it right now there's a link in the description below so start thinking about when you're in the game playing on the last defender so you're getting on the shoulder if you can get between these guys get these guys confused he thinks you're marking him no he thinks you're marking him and now you're on the last defender, you're getting played into space, you're receiving it in good areas so you can quickly get shots off, you get more goal scoring opportunities, you don't have to beat three guys in order to create a chance for yourself. So think about playing on the shoulder of the last defender. The final tip I wanna give you is finding space in the box. So we talked about, first of all, just getting in the box, getting yourself there. But getting yourself there isn't always enough to score the goal because you're going to be marked, especially against good teams. So let's say our team is out here, we're on the ball, everyone's getting forward. So against good teams, they're not going to give you space to score the goal, okay? You're going to be tightly marked. So you have to think about, hey, how can I find space? How can I be a little sharper, a little quicker, a little smarter than the defender and find that space to get to the ball first so I can get a little touch on it or I can quickly control it and finish the play. So if you're always just standing there being marked, you're not gonna score goals. 
So you have to be smarter. You have to be thinking about, okay, where is the space? Sometimes the space is making a quick run to the front post. Sometimes the space is drifting off to the back post. Let's say everyone gets sucked in. You have to find, okay, is there space here? No, the space isn't there. The space is over here. So I wanna, I wanna be clever. I wanna sneak out and find this space for myself so I can get a ball clipped over the top and attack it with my head or let it come down on my chest and finish it. But you have to be thinking about where's the space. Sometimes the space is, let's say, this guy makes a run in the box, someone's on the back post, okay, everyone's marked. Sometimes the space is just staying still. You're already in the space. No one's marking you. You just have to receive the pass. So think about, hey, am I in a good position to get the ball or am I marked? Do I have to find space for myself? Do I have to create some space at the back post or be quicker than the defender when the ball's coming in? Another thing you want to think about is being sharper than the defender. So if the ball is coming in and we're both jogging to it, he's probably gonna win it, okay? I have to have a little more desire. I have to be willing to sprint a little quicker, to be a little more physical, to get in front of that guy, to work a little harder, to earn myself the goal. So instead of jogging, or instead of jogging out here and hoping the ball comes to you, okay, you wanna be in the habit of getting around the defender, getting in front of the defender, being a little sharper with your movement, finding the space so you can score the goal. So those are three tips to think about the next time you're playing as a striker or a forward to get yourself more involved in play and score more goals to help your team win more games. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. From moving up divisions to making national teams, players who use the Online Soccer Academy get results. Access elite level coaching and training, become a complete player, make a difference on the field, and get noticed when you play. Limited spots available, apply today, start improving tomorrow, link in the description below.